G'day and welcome to this tutorial on how to get 2D screen space god rays back into Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders. Now this tutorial should work for all versions from 10.0 to the latest 10.2 preview. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using 10.2 preview. Just before we get started, I just want to point out a few things. One, if you're using 10.1 or 10.0, the main files you'll be working in will be composite and composite1.fsh. And for 10.2 preview, the files will be composite1 and composite2. Also, the line numbers will be different if you're using 10.0 or 10.1 compared to 10.2. Also, this tutorial is a bit more advanced than most other tweaks or fixes for Zeus, but I'll try my best to make this tutorial as easy to follow as I can. Also, if you really don't feel comfortable in doing these changes, you can check out the official fully modded uh, Zeus shader that is called Continuum that already has the 2D God Rays in and working. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, first off, you'll need to download uh, the attached file that's in the description that contains all the 2D God Rays uh, code that you'll need for this tutorial. Next, you'll need to come in to Sonic Ether's uh, Minecraft forum and choose a shader that you want the 2D God Rays to be in. I'll be using this one here for this tutorial. Once you've done this, place the zip file in your Minecraft shader packs. And I find that the best way to modify shaders is to actually extract the shaders uh, file from the zip file and put it in a new folder. For this I'm just going to call it Zeus God Rays. Open the folder and place the shaders uh, folder into this one. Once you've done that, double click the folder, right click on composite 1 and edit with notepad++. Place them side by side, so you've got the God Rays code text that you've downloaded and you've got your files that we're going to be working in on the other side. The other one you'll need is composite2.fsh. Drag and drop. Okay, first we'll be starting in composite1. Like I said before, these line numbers are mainly for 10.2. They will be different in other versions. Okay, first of all, we need this line of uh, code just here. So copy, and we're going to paste that on line 28 just here. Control V. Okay next we need to go to line 59 which is just here. What you'll do is highlight that bit there and grab this bit here. Copy. Right click and we'll paste over the top of that. Next we need to go to line 2283. All the way down to there. Copy this line of code. And paste it in here. Next we go to line 2572. down to here. You want to take this bit of code from there down to there. Copy and control V to paste it. Lastly, come down to line 2662 and you want to replace this bit 
Where is that one there? Face. Okay, save. Move on to composite two. Alright, so on this one, line 19. Right, copy that. And control V to paste it in there. Next, we're going to go to line 52. Or for this one, 53. Copy this. And paste it in there. Come down to this line here. Line 60 or 63. And paste that one in there. Alright, so we want to go down to line 525. Or more to the point, uh, 526, this line here. Okay. What we want to do is highlight this one. And copy this. Control C. And paste over the top of that line of code. Alright, and lastly, go down to line 1282, or 1283 in this case. Highlight all this code. And control V to paste. Click save. And we can go check it out in Minecraft. Now as long as you follow the tutorial correctly, you should have these 2D screen space god rays working now. Now these aren't the best uh, god rays that you could probably have in uh, Sonic Ether's shaders. You probably could tweak them a bit more yourself. Uh, these will be coming obsolete very soon with his new volumetric light coming out. Well, I hope this tutorial was uh, useful for you and that it wasn't too hard to follow. If this was uh, any use to you, uh, please hit the like button and share this video around so people can enjoy 2D screen space god rays back into Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders. Hopefully we'll be getting his new volumetric lighting before the end of the year. Until then, enjoy these God Rays, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.